Ni hao and young hello, I'm the Dark Fae, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. We're in the second half of the trial now, so let's just let's just get into it. I'm very yeah. excited to see what this is gonna have. Oh. I'm Monami! Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. Yep. No! This definitely cannot be allowed. That's why I want you to remember this. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently. Okay. Thanks, Monami. Here we go. The reason the killer did an imitation murder is a reason other than falsifying the murder sequence. This is one the one thing I'm not very clear on. Does something like that even exist? Huh. It suddenly got quiet in here. Did I confuse you? If so, I wish I could die from self-loathing. You can, you know. That's like that's what Don't go there. Man, this again. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me, too. It would have been just dandy. God, it really would have, though. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? I love Monokuma's rule. Although maybe you didn't hear it because you were sick. Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Oh my god, Nagito. Like... <sighs> It's, it also pisses me off when he keeps saying that. Like, oh, I wish I could die. I want to be killed. And he's, like, saying this when we're literally all, like, talking about people who have been killed that we wish hadn't been. Like, how dare... Like, how fucking dare you? Seriously, just shut up already. Shut up forever. Thank you. But I'm thinking about it again, and he's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on. Try to remember the content of the movie. Oh, the movie is like really did not stick in my head. Oh. About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hiyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation... The lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? Mm-hmm. But Hiyoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but... That attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. Yeah. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying... Hyoko's murder wasn't. What? Oh, like they killed Hyoko accidentally? Oh! What if they were actually trying to kill Ibuki first? But then, but then because of what Sonya said about the, the, um, the kimono, Hyoko ended up walking in on the storage room. And so they actually killed Hyoko and then finished off Ibuki or like made her hang herself. Yoko's murder wasn't planned. Um, I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Hyoko go to the music venue? Oh, why did Hyoko go to the music venue? So, you're saying the truth behind Hyoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say. <laughs> However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. How does that hamster stay on his scarf like that? <laughs> Why Hiyoko went to the music venue, if that's the key to all this. 
I need to find that out in my cost. Well, we know that from Sonia, right? So, make your argument. Oh. Mm. Okay, I don't know which one I would be. Why did Hyoko go to the music venue? There's no way we'd know that. You, well, you guys, maybe the maybe. killer summoned her. If that's not it, maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe she went of her own free will. Or oh, I missed. She was guided by the will of causality. That's darling. I need to find out why Hugo. Okay. Why did of her own free will? Motel room key. Go to the music venue? I think that's what it because she like she took There's the key in order to, to Maybe the killer some if that's not it. Maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe. The Sonia, yeah. She went of her own free will. Ah. I clicked the wrong right button because I thought it was white noise was gonna come down. It's just as Sonia said. She went to the music venue of her own free will. So Exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. Yeah. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Yoko got abducted. No. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. Yeah. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Like, uh, Akane, you're the one who took out the key. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? There we go. See? And something like that. I won't lose. What? Oh. Okay. I feel a little better now about Gundam. Are you saying my gut was wrong? Yes, constantly and always. This could be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? Because you're, because you're wrong. So you're not going to shine. And you're just going to look dumb. And because I don't want to hear your nonsense. No, that's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk. I'll shut you up right now. God, I want Akane to go. She's so useless. And got Nekomaru killed, so... Um... Probably. Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room and forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak-looking. And that's why the killer targeted her! Okay, advance. Hiyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! Oh wow, two rounds! There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's body! Her kimono was all messed up! Oh, damn it. There should be no doubt about Crap. that. I, I Hold thought. on! Try remembering Hiyoko. Her kimono was all messed up. There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! What? That's the proof she was abducted, right? My gut is totally right after all! I'm so confused. Damn it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later. I can't back oh, down. Oh Jesus Christ! What? Seriously? Okay. Hiyoko was locked inside her room. She definitely got abducted. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. I'm clicking room. so fast. Possibly also. abducted her. The girl is so small and weak looking, and that's why the killer targeted her. Okay. But Hiyoko's room was locked. 
The key was deep in... It's more likely that Hyoko... The killer was the one who locked the door. So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later. Okay, fine. Jesus. There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remembering Hyoko's butt. Her kimono was on. All... There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! Incorrect. Allow me to cut through those Okay, words. thank goodness. Dear the gosh. The Hyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yes, you dumb bitch. Yeah, it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Yoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I hate arguing with stupid people. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. I, I don't get how Sonya got into her the room. The reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Obviously not. You think Yoko can fight anything? Yeah. She went to the venue on her She's own. She's like just to 10 years old. I, I get it. I lost. Good. Boil me. Burn me. Take off my clothes. Do whatever you want to me. Who cares? How can you? No one cares about you. Hajime, now's your chance. Make her admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. Soda. Hun. Babe. Like, you just. So you need to do, like, the ice bucket challenge, which is constantly. I don't know. Then, the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hiyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting Miss Sonya, you cretin! I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under. How dare you threaten his hamsters? Okay, Soda, mm -mm. you're, you're, unless you like redeem yourself, you were like kind of on my shit list now. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. I love that line. You have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop. For his sake. Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Yeah, we what? Of course. I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. I love how his hamsters are, like, giggling. Like, hee <laughs> hee. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is... It was an unfortunate coincidence. God, Chiaki also better not die. Co coincidence? When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. Mm -hmm. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. But how did Ibuki get to the music venue is what I want to know. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without hesitation... Okay, wait, I'm suspicious of Mikan again now. Is that weird? Because who else would... have access... To tell me can to because she's gullible, right? To go to the music venue. Like I know she has an alibi, but I don't know. I don't know. I still feel like it, the timing could be off. Cause I cause Ibuki could have been dead like before and right and like so sorry so Hyoko died first right because of this and then Ubuki was killed after and then they could have set up the scene with the the noose and walking the guy with the hemp bag walking up the thing crashes over and then and then they put Hyo uh Ibuki up there and hid Hyoko's body no killed Hyoko. Probably shouldn't have stopped there because I don't because just all of a sudden that coincidence for their crime. Killed it made Hyoko. This case even trickier. Although Mikan was let's see. Although Mikan was at the hospital before 
like when the thing was going on, right? She was in the on-call room, so maybe not, maybe not. I don't know why, though. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that lowdown scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? I think just make it seem like a suicide. They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. D do you have any ideas? Damn, we don't know the most important part. The killer's plan from the beginning. I'm pretty sure we're very, very close. Hey, Nagito, any ideas? Don't ask him. Hey, hey, him. How long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? Oh, I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. And you can't talk again. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. Yeah. Huh? What are you talking about? Already knew I this. I thought there might be a possibility Ages, like from the that beginning. she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. We went over that. You didn't so remember it. So if she faked it. her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. Why you got the crazy eyes right now? That's just a fact. You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Yeah. Huh. Really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. Soda, you haven't contributed much either. No, wait a minute. If a bouquet had blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place if she kept walking around. That's strange. That's very strange. This is strange? What's strange? I see. It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints, there's still an important clue left that we completely overlooked. Just as Nagisu said, if, there, if she had blood on her footprints, she, she, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Then why, why weren't there any footprints on the... Stop ladder? Uh. I can prove it with this. If Ibuki used the step ladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah, that step ladder was completely clean. Well, no. no. Footprints or blood stains at all. Incorrect. Do you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate. Mm hmm What are you talking about? You were obviously leading us to this. That's why you brought up the suicide topic after all this time. Nagito Komaeda. You're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. But didn't you say you saw that video of Ibuki climbing the stepladder? Then I think there's no doubt that she really did climb it. Unless there was something funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video, hmm? Mm. But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. So, just as I thought, it comes down to that. The mystery surrounding this incident is contained in that video. And whether or not we can reach that hidden truth is all up to me. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but oh well. You should get started already. What? Yeah, I'll definitely try. Oh, what is it now? If there was some hidden clue in that video, I should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. Is this logic? I'm the only one who actually saw that video, so I'm the only one who can do it. The hanging, the hanging video that I saw. Based on everything we know from the debates thus far, I should be able to figure out what's strange. Oh, spot selection. I'm gonna... The blood stain, right? Here. That's right. I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that step ladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that step ladder weren't dirty, but on one side, there was a blood stain right on the left side of the step ladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. Yeah. 
There weren't any blood stains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. So the murder happened after the morning announcement. No, it couldn't have happened that quickly though. But it but it had Hmm. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Ibugi's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. Yeah. Because that's where the blood would have had to come from. So, the fact is, the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. But the stepladder in the video was completely bloodless. Oh, because there's no way they could have knocked it over, right? So this was like a... I'm wondering... No, they don't have phones. I'm wondering if they could have, like, recorded it and then, like, just put it in front of the camera to, to do so. And there's no way the video hmm. was recorded in advance. advance. Okay. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. Yeah, or that. Wait, are you saying there were two stepladders? Yeah, there's two stepladders. That would also be a very possible. But thing. where would you find another stepladder? There was only one stepladder in the music video. Oh, in the hospital. Wait, but the... Where would the monitor have come from then? Then one of the stepladders was somewhere other than the music venue. Just think because of the curtain, right? What do you mean? Mikan? You're suggesting that the stepladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? Oh! The video took place in the conference room because it was super dark, right? Wait, I need to- wait, 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 I need to look at the video again. Is it, um... I wanted to see if you could actually see the stage or not. No, it's just wooden flooring. So what if this was in the hospital? Because that's, that blackout curtain was there, right? And I think, I don't quite remember there's a step ladder, but there was like a room full of just like random equipment and junk and stuff. And like you would have to get a hospital gown from somewhere. And Mikan is the one who went upstairs to the on-call room which is also where the conference room is okay um um this is my theory now that's amazing chiaki all that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills is it okay to say that um what are you two talking about that step letter isn't the only thing that's different huh chiaki said this the step letter was at a different place but if that's the case, the thing that's different between that video and the actual scene of the crime is that thing. Is that thing the place where the killer did something? What? W what is this English? Oh. Penguin's Gambit, god damn it. I don't... I don't know what this is supposed to be. What is the question between the video I saw and the actual crime scene? And, um, uh oh. I don't know what the word is supposed to be. Oh, Jesus Christ. M, L, G, F, filming location? Oh jeez, I was gonna hit it. I need an M. I. I'm just gonna get rid of these. Oh crap, I got the wrong one. No, 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 no. Uh, I need an O. Oh, no. I need a C, right? Oh God, the T's. Oh, son of a bitch. Damn it. 
Oh god. The G. Oh, 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 oh. Literally. Fuck my life. I. Oh. Oh my god, this is so bad. There are too many letters happening. Oh. Give me an N. Oh my goodness. I got it. That was really difficult at that point. That's right. Besides the step ladder, the filming location must have been different too. What do you mean? I mean the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. It was filmed somewhere else. Okay, this is good now. This is so cool now. The music venue camera, you know? Yeah, that's the part. Then, there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. In order to show us that they filmed the video at the event music venue instead of somewhere else. What did the killer do to that surveillance camera unit? What? Oh, not again. I, I don't, Oh, logic dive. Oh. Oh gods. Oh! I don't have enough. Oh god. I don't have enough, um, mouse range of movement for my mouse. Which part of the Fusilian's camera did they tamper with? Uh, oh fuck, I don't- Oops, I fell. Monitor the camera. Um, or both? Hang on, I don't... It would have had to have at least been the... the camera, right? It'd just be the camera, I think. Okay. Oh no. So, so unreactive, so slow. God, go, why is this so slow? Even though I'm like moving my mouse like so far. This is really stupid, I have to say. Can we hurry up now? Okay. What, did the killer tamper with the camera at the music venue or the hospital? The one at the music venue. It's crazy. So why is this so insensitive? Like not sensitive? in the slightest and I fell off anyway my god so dumb I'm sorry hate this okay there we go what did the killer do with the camera they took it with them And we're done, right? Thank goodness. Jesus, I don't like those. It's all coming together. That's it. The killer just brought the camera from the music venue. With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue when it was actually from somewhere else. Then only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes. At least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Hyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start. 
and made this easier on all of us. Oh, fuck off, Akane. What if you have done nothing but impede this investigation? You don't find a single helpful clue. You don't make any good points. You're dumb as rocks. And you fucking try to lead us in the, uh, the other direction and then complain when we don't agree with you. He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. Thank you, Sonia. Well, that's true, but... In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. Break it? The thing the killer did, uh, destroyed it. I see! God, my health bar is so low because I keep the falling off. smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. Mm-hmm. And the moment Hajime left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. Can you tell this is this is why I don't like group projects because just there's always people who are incompetent or or just don't get it. And it's just like come on, even after explaining it to you a million times, you still don't like how. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. That's why it's the hospital. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, oh, you it too. seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music thing, he was amazing enough. Oh, you too. Stop fighting. Which means, even if it was filmed in another place, as long as it was transmitting to the sick hospital, the range would be pretty limited. If that's the case, where was the video filmed to make it look like it was filmed in the music venue? The only possibility is that place inside that building. Is it another hangman's gambit? Dear God, I think it's conference room though, right? C O N F E R E N C E. I'm gonna assume that was right. Yeah, that's right. Give me an N. Kamsamnida. Give me an F. I don't need any more of these. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that one because I feel like there's a timer. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that one too, though. Whatever. I have enough O's. There we go. Give me an E. Give me any letters. Come on. I have enough O's. There. That's an F. I don't need any more F's. I mean, we'll need O's later. You're kind of on the edge, so that's not a good place for you to be. This is why I don't like hang Hangman's Gambit, it's because you're just like waiting. For the right letters. Oh, fuck my life. I clicked the wrong button. That's not fair. Are you kidding me? They just spawned on top of each other. I hate, I hate this game. By that I mean this. I'm gonna go delete those for now. I don't need more R's right now. I would like more E's though. Now can you give me the O's? Now I just need an M. Hey Jesus, finally. I got it. It's 
possible that it was filmed at the hospital's conference room. Huh? The conference room? But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. That's exactly why the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. Make the conference room look like a music venue. The killer went ahead and did some work. I've got to make clear what that work was. Maybe that's why Mikan didn't sleep. Oh, the, um... There we go, music venue curtain. There's no way the conference room... And the music venue look the same. That's what you'd like us to think, huh? Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference That's room? That's not... Di or did they make some kind of set? Ooh, yes. Or they might have tampered with the camera. No. I still can't believe he mixed up the filming locations. Hajime, you're pretty stupid. Fuck off, Agane. God, she's so dumb. Okay. I think it's, There's um... There's no way the conference room... I think it's... Sonia. We like Sonia. Sonia. Which place resembled the other? Sonia gives up good points. Did the conference room look like, like the music venue? Or did the music <clears throat> venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? What? I knew that was it. The killer must have fashioned a background set that resembles the music venue. What? Damn it! Wait, huh? How is that wrong? Okay, fine. There's no way the conference room and the music venue look the same. The music venue curtain on the Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Yes. Or did the music venue look like the conference room? It's obviously the first one. Or did they make some kind of set? Well, they might I thought have they made this they made a set man, pretty because stupid. Because they made it was like I said, they you know, put it up the curtain or whatever. There's no way to the music venue. I'm annoyed. Did the conference room look like the or did the music venue look like the conference room? Finally, God that I'm must dumb. Be it. Sorry. What the killer did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. Yeah, 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 I got it mixed up. From what I remember, there used to be I a really remember flashy the flashy curtain. curtain. But after the incident, it somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-assed! Just like Monami! Oh. Oh, yeah? Well, your face looks... Bed. That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like the conference room? In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it's a very dark curtain that blocks out all the light. It is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is... What? The same color as the music venue stage. Also, if it was that dark, you really couldn't be able to tell. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor matched. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like the conference room. Um, the candle? I think it's the candle, right? I can prove it because with this. there wasn't any lighting. You're referring to the candle in the music venue, right? In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. But if you think about it, that's pretty strange. I feel like I'm good at figuring out the clues. I'm just not good at playing this game. <laughs> the music venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another reason, but... The main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. Yeah. 
The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle as film lighting instead. I really feel like it's me, Ken. Also, she had that she had that one time where she was agitated and she didn't have like her her timid like oh no. But she's I forget she was like actually kind of aggressive and it was like whoa is that the real me, Ken? Uh, Which means, are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. Mm -hmm. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. Oh, you brought up a good point, finally, Soda. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. My cheap-ass camera. As long as cameras. this all matches up, <laughs> it should be no problem to say this is decided. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. So now who has an alibi? If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up. So I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. Mm -hmm. The motel would have been too far. And the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. What? You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. Yeah, who's that close? The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. I feel like I've heard Bayside cops say that before, but isn't it the other way around? Um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? No. No, that's not possible. Oh, no, it could have been. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body yeah. at the music venue. Yeah. That video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the music venue, which means there was a fake somewhere. The fake must have been uh, the Ibuki in the conference room. I see! Okay, my health bar the went up a little. The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was the killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. Yep. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. Mm -hmm. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. Because also, Hyoko went out at night to fix her kimono. So that's what happened. And no matter how quickly I ran, it was impossible for me to rescue Ibuki. Oh, that's a sad thought. At that moment, I was already in the killer's trap. And, and the one who set a trap for me was... But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video... There's only one possibility I can think of. If I examine that possibility thoroughly, do you give themselves an alibi or to then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. Huh? You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? That's right. I should already know. I should have already known who the killer is. Uh well I'm gonna choose Mikan. You're the only one! So does, that, does that mean- Does that mean it's not her, though? You're the killer, aren't you? <laughs> um, what are you talking about? Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoko? Was I right? Killer? Huh? <laughs> I'm the killer? What is this? Uh, hey, don't you think that's kinda impossible? No. A chick like her as the killer? She couldn't even kill a fly. In fact, the fly would probably kill her first. She, she, she's right! Uh, a clumsy slowpoke like me killing someone? Th that's completely out of the question! But we're the only ones. Thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. Except it's not really an alibi anymore, it's more like... An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Yeah. Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up earlier. Only Hajime and Mikan have an alibi. It's just a coincidence! 
but you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Is that also a coincidence? Chin Chu, get some rest already. You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep. More like murdering without that nice sleep, right? And if you insist, I will use the on call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead, so don't come up. At that and time, that way you can see you the video. You were going to the on call room, but you actually went to the conference room. Really? That's when you put on a hospital gown Me that you prepared can? in advance. Put the bag on I your gotta head find out why. Filming. By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music venue. And showed that to me. Although I'm curious, because I feel like in this game, like the killer is revealed kind of, not early, but like before, quite a ways before the trial actually ends. It always feels like there's a lot more to like prove, even though we technically already know who it is. I wonder why that is. <laughs> Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. Can I say, also, I never really liked Mikan all that much. Like, I admired, like, the fact that she was skilled at being a nurse, but... I always found her so annoying. And just, like, so... I don't know, I just don't like her all that much. The... I feel like she kind of plays the victim a lot, maybe? I don't know. It seemed like a lot of, like, with Hyoko and stuff, she was always, like... Um... I don't know, she like, got picked on a lot, she got bullied, but it just- I kind of wish that she would just like stand up for herself a little bit more, you know? So I was always a bit impatient with her, like, but, but, I'm so, so weak, and you know, I just- mm. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Unless it was someone sick, but like, come on. Not only that, the others in the hospital Kane and I were both delirious from the despair disease. So that must mean. Please wait a second. But but why? Is this the disease was like the motive? And Mikan took advantage of that because she's like the one treating them. It's not literally impossible. Yeah. Can't you give a better defense than that? He, that's- he's not wrong. It just shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? R wrong! He, he's totally wrong! It's not what you think! Okay, then prove it. Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikan is the killer? I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. Uh, oh, I don't like the way he said woman, but oh, damn, that goddamn. That slow-witted remark is not necessary. Um. <laughs> it's fine. I've been like this for a long time. In a tournament for social punching bags, I'd easily win first place with my soft reputation. But like, do you try at all to like fix that no even i can't deny that how many times do i have to tell you it's impossible for me to kill someone why is it I'm spinning serious. very serious what do you say hajime i don't i don't you buy still it believe this woman is the killer yeah i don't buy it Oh, that just... Oh, that's such a bitch move. Hey, Hajime! Um... Um... Everyone's ganging up on me. <laughs> I hate I hate it. I feel like this is 100% crocodile tears. Tricks aside, logic aside, is she really capable of doing something like this? Could it be I'm the one making a mistake? No, in fact, it'd be much easier if I was wrong. I have this much doubt about someone I've spent so much time with. Uh, can you hold on a minute? Uh oh. Huh? Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all. And I mean, I have no place to say this. Uh oh. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time. Oh, wait, time check like her tickets. What are you saying? Her movie ticket? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the killer this time. That's stupid face. Huh? I thought it was suspicious all along. 
from the very beginning. Is that not me, Cannon? Investigating with the suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? Hey. Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. Okay. What? Are you serious? I've been so focused on everybody else this trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? What, is he gonna say, like, Hajime spent 1.5 million dollars on a stupid sticker? You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know! Actually, this is a game! Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Please don't say such controversial statements. <laughs> well, what do you know, Nagito? But, like, I'm just... At this point, with, like, the evidence and stuff that has been presented, I can't think of how it could not be Mikan. Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Dang! That's a huge deal! A d d d decisive clue? Does something like that really exist? Let's take a look, shall we? Okay. Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from. Mm-hmm. This rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. It's how it is. They should really, uh, like, it's like, I don't know, uh, like separate and then like lock up some of the items where that could be used. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope and keep in mind that it's brand new. What? Near the middle of the rope, it's frayed, as if it was rubbed strongly. But why is it like this? The loopy buki used to hang herself is on one end of the rope. Oh. And the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. The buki was strangled. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means, well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. The killer wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled her. <laughs> the center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they used to strangle Ibuki. Hold oh, on. I've been listening to you for a while, and it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. Uh-huh. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Not everyone cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Okay. Huh? More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki. And then? And then... I finished speaking. What? Huh? <laughs> Yeah. Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue very clear. Nagata's words contain a decisive clue? Is that really true? Make your argument again? Okay. Rope used for hanging, scrubs that care. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. Yeah. She was strangled to death. Uh-huh. That's basically the same thing. Incorrect. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burned, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Is it Mikan's Did autopsy? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. That's fair Whoever too. Whoever misunderstood is to blame! Buki's true cause of death was strangulation. The fact is the decisive proof that will lead to the killer. Is that Ibuki true? Ibuki didn't die from hanging. Hang on, let me... She was strangled to death. Yes. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're- Hang on, hang on, um... 
yeah so the rupees were hanging was was and they were strangled so it it's not contradicting that the scars they leave would look, look different, different. Too. yeah yeah scars you mean the rope burned right but we believed it was from the a hanging hand. why would that be because someone did that did we fall for someone's lie yeah that yeah, yeah. must be it That's a weird way to put it, though, I guess. So that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. Yeah, that she was hanged. Something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death is being hanged by this rope, right? I didn't catch that. Yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging her- Oh, that's how he knew. It's because he had already seen the rope. And then Mikan lied to him like that. You said Ibuki hanged herself. But that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? That is... well... You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? Oh, shit. <laughs> that's a good detail. Okay, okay. You should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling. Just by looking. Mm -hmm. You, Mikan, the ultimate nurse. Uh, please wait. No. First of all, I'm not a coroner, so I don't have the medical knowledge to identify injuries like that. That's why it's not my fault if I made a mistake. You, you are right. And you have been a great help to us so far. It's really playing that helpless defense card. But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. Yes. I'm not taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. Also, a lot of the time, well, I guess it depends on how high you are or like how much, how much rope is like, you know, when you drop from a hanging. Or how sudden, but normally it's from you die from like a broken neck, too, right? It's completely different from strangulation. He's totally right. <laughs> uh, I'm such a clumsy mess, and I got so careless. Mikan nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. I feel like she didn't do a very good job about it. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Huh? I, I'm curious about her motive, and if not. Her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. So, so Mikan volunteered to nurse us? Because she was planning to do this all along? That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? <laughs> I'm not a criminal. Mikan is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. You've got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. I just can't forgive this crime at all. Oh, why so serious now? Um, forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikan is the killer. I decided. <sighs> hmm, I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes, then the only thing I can do is back off. I guess. I but guess. is that really okay? Is that everyone's hope? You're friggin' annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! Akane, you're probably the most annoying one here right now. <laughs> he can't really, a close second. Really not the killer. Okay, then who is? Prove it. <laughs> There's no way! <laughs> I'm capable of killing someone! I don't care! Prove it! Everyone's capable of killing someone. Is that really true? <gasps> stop it already! That's enough! Shut up, Akane. I can't stop. I don't want to do this either. Of course I don't want to do this. Can't stop, won't stop. But I need to do this. You, you doubt your friends? You kind of have to when there's two dead bodies and somebody did it. That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. What the hell does that mean? Yeah, what? Um, I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? I do doubt her. 
But I still want to believe her. I don't. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Okay. Cause if there's no room for doubt, then there's no reason to believe, is there? D don't say deep stuff. I don't really get it. Yeah, cause you're, again, dumb as a brick. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Finally, and this is why we love Chiaki. Huh? Is that all you can say? Here it is! Her real fucking self. Ah, so in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? I knew it. Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. That's what you're do- but- But that's what you're doing. You're making excuses. They're like, there's no way I could kill someone. Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. It's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. Yeah, I had a feeling that all of like the the bullying, the punching bag stuff was going to get to her eventually. Uh, hey, hey. Mikan. It's not fair. It's not fair. 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 Why won't you forgive me? If you did something wrong, you'd forgive yourself right away. What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Forgive you for what? Is acting like this your strategy now? Wow. This is annoying. Yeah. Plus, to be honest, I've run out of ideas. How can we get you to admit it? That's the issue. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? Huh? I'm the same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. But still, the truth is yep. one of us murdered two of our friends. See? That's why. We gotta stick with this until the very end, so we can finally break these chains of despair. Ch Chiaki. Hey Mikan, can I ask you one last thing? Oh, I'm surprised that she went after Ibuki and not Hyoko then, like intentionally. If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Like I said, it obviously wasn't me. That's not what we asked. Can you prove it? P prove it? Yeah. Wait! Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? We just presented all of it. Ah, that's right! Show me your proof! <laughs> because you're just assuming the video was filmed at the conference room! God, she, I hate her more than like I've ever disliked. I don't know. I've never really liked Mikan. But I've. I've, I've yeah, I just hate her even more now. T -t Treating me like a killer. Because she kind of. It's like, kind of like that Nagito thing. Just because I was at the hospital. Where I just feel so fake. It's like, oh, what a, a useless guy like me. And then she's like, oh, I'm just. There's no way I could do. It. I hate that. I hate it. Oh. <laughs> That's totally crazy. Stop crying. Why does everybody always hate me? Please, just forgive me already! Maybe because you act like this. Have you checked yourself that maybe if there are so many people who dislike you or treat you like maybe there's a problem. Maybe there is a problem with you. And I'm not saying that like people who are bullied, like the victims, it's their fault. Absolutely not. But in at this point, if she's... There's a line where it's like people, other people are bullies and are terrible and are mean and pick on people for various reasons and that's not good. That's awful. But there's also a point where some people are just so like unaware of themselves 
and have like that like the thought that like they're always right or like they are the good one and therefore everyone else is bad without really having that self-reflection if that's actually true in this case i feel like that that latter one is me can so is this broad really okay she's emotionally unstable <laughs> Also, I mean, she killed two people, like, so I'm not, yeah. Hmm. It seems she finally started arguing for us. Huh? But the only one who can find the hole in her argument is you, Hajime. So, I'm going to leave this to you once again. Okay. Could it be, was this Chiaki's goal all along? She's saying everyone's fate depends on me, the only person who saw that video. Why do you get to decide I'm the killer? I don't- why do you keep asking for forgiveness? I need to make up my mind. I'm the one who has to do it. I'm the one who's gonna finish this. What is it now, though? Make your argument? Okay. Bottom of the Swallows, Refuse Rain Motel, Scrap a Thick Viva, Surveillance Camera, AC Unit. I'm not- I'm not the killer! Thanks for that useless statement. We can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video? Yeah. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? Just from that camera There's angle? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Don't flinch, don't hesitate, don't run away. Wait, okay. Hospital, no, it's not hospital gown, it's not... Let's see, hospital gown. It's not slippers. It's not. Oh. How would she know what the host, what the, what the camera angle was, right? Unless she set it up or saw the video somehow. Nobody knows that except for Hajime. But like the slippers, the gown, the whatever, the rope. Uh, okay, okay. So it's. I'm not the killer. Surveillance camera unit. We can't think of anybody else other than you. Ah! Who could have filmed that video? Oh, uh, there's there's a lot of. Oh, I'm gonna have to concentrate it though. Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Her voice got really creepy. Slipper she had on. Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different. Is that really, really your proof? You could tell her body type under the, the hospital, hospital gown. gown. Just from that video. video? Just from that camera angle. Ah. Wait, what? Damn it! Wait, that's not it? Okay, hang on. But it's definitely camera angle. I just have to think of what the truth bullet is. Right? Uh. I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody else other than you. It's none of these. Who could have filmed that video? Oh, is this the di oh, oh, yeah, I, mean, I know what I have to do. Is the hospital gown or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikon. Is that real? Uh, I have to, uh, the one where you have to like absorb one. Gown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? It's camera angle. Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type. And then So please forgive me already. Hajime, pay close this attention part. and listen well. Killer's mistake. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. There. Okay. I guess. I'm not the killer. We can't think of anybody who could have filmed. Huh? And then the it's gonna be. Is the hospital gown she was wearing, or could it be the hospital? She talks so creepily now. And could it be the hospital gown that she had on? Different body types. 
Is that really, really your proof? You could tell her body, body type under the hospital again. gown. Just from that, that video? video. Just from that camera angle. There we go, bitch. Contradiction. Oh my god. Suck at this game. <laughs> Mikan, you've committed a major mistake. M mistake? As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. <laughs> so how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? The only reason Mikan knew the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Dun dun dun. Oh, stop squeaking. Are you serious? They're squeakier than Gundam's hamsters. Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? Ah, forgive me! No one's gonna forgive you for fucking murder, bitch. Huh? Oh, here we go. Huh? 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 <laughs> I was wrong. Wrong. No, no. That's not it at all. That's not that's it? That's not it at all. I mean... It's impossible. Impossible? You know that hemp bag Ibuki oh, was here we go. when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. Uh, she could be like a really good ghost guy. Ding! I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? So you admit it's a girl. How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? Literally everybody. More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? But also, did you know that we found out from Monokuma that it was buy one get one free? Bitch. Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Well, technically, in the video, you couldn't- you- it Oopsie. wasn't there. Oh. Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Even though you haven't seen the video? Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. Alright, here we go. About to smack down a so bitch. don't you think it's impossible? I hate girl- I hate people like this. both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? What? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? No. That's why that video isn't fabricated. And I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Again. No. Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll knock you out. You're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! This, this girl has issues. Although it's, it's, I mean, understandable given how much she's gotten bullied, but like, ugh. Oh, long time no see. Well, not really. It's time for the third panic talk action. This is probably going to be my last job during a class trial. Please hammer me while I taint your ears one last time. Starting from this PTA, the reload and ammo features will be added. You will no longer be able to make do with just the left mouse button. Below the tempo marker in the lower portion of the screen, the number of bullets are displayed. From this point on, you'll need one bullet to destroy one remark. When you're out of bullets, you won't be able to destroy the remarks no matter how much you mash the left mouse button. You will be able to refresh your bullets by pressing the tab key to reload. Just like logging on, press the tab key in time with the tempo marker. The controls are the same as the left mouse button. Match the tempo marker either by pressing right the tap key. The number of bullets refreshed is based on how well you kept the tempo. If you get the timing wrong when you press the tap key, bullets will not be re refreshed, so please be careful. Also, your ammo will be completely refreshed and will not run out during fever time. If your difficulty level is set to gentle, you do not need to reload. 
I guess this was a pretty useless explanation, even though it was the last one. That should be all the explanations for the class trials. The rest is up to you to overcome. You should be able to find it beyond this point. What you and I both yearn for. True despair. Well then, good luck and have fun, but also have despair. I'll keep explaining it until you forgive me! That bag is a limited item! Okay, okay. <laughs> That's why that crying is impossible for anyone to pull off. But clearly someone did pull it off, so it can't be impossible, you idiot. This check, you fucking... Has she oh. lost it for good? Will you forgive me? No. You'll forgive me, right? No. Isn't that right? No. You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? No. At this rate, we're not getting anywhere. I gotta do something and end this. I gotta do something so I can make her admit it. Here we go. Panic talk action. God. You still haven't forgiven me? I'll do anything you want. Please, draw on me. Do you understand? Wrong button. Why only me? Please, draw on me. Can you forgive me already? Shut up, Mikan. Forgive me! Forgive me! Please, Fuck me. draw on me. This is so understand? much harder with reloading because I can't see the number of Can bullets I have. Already? Oh, okay. That, that's awful. I'll do anything you want. Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. You're done for! Forgive me! Forgive me! Why only me? You still haven't forgiven me? I'll do anything you want. I think I'm still have fever time? Okay. I have so much fever time. Oh. There's only one back. It's impossible. Theater prize bonus. At the same time. What? What? What do you mean that was wrong? Bonus theater prize? There's only one back. It's impossible to use them two places at the same time. Hang on. What? How is that wrong? What did I what did I put? Is it it's bonus theater prize or theater bonus prize? This is this is why I don't like this part of the game either, because with the ending argument, it could be either one. Like and it would Okay, maybe it's bonus prize. God, I hate this. There's only one bag. It's impossible to use it in two places at the same time. What is it? I hate that's so stupid because it could be bonus theater prize, theater bonus prize, theater prize bonus. Like, ugh. I don't even know what I've tried already. I don't. What the fuck is it? I did. Bonus theater, so it's not bonus theater prize. It's not theater prize. So it's theater bonus prize. Fucking hate this game sometimes. What did I say? There's only one back. It's impossible to use it in two. This is the end. Jesus Christ, finally. That's so stupid. I'm gonna get such a score, bad score on this just because of that. Akuma, Not just because of it. But my god. So dumb. When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. I swear if I would have had to redo that whole thing, I would have been so mad. Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. What a dumb design. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. Why? I hate that face. Why can't you forgive me? Why? Because you killed two people? Like... It seems 
her desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. God, and my, like, this trial was so infuriating. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just, just forgive, forgive me already! Nikon, it's already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning, okay. I'll show that you have no arguments left. Please, just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Closing argument. Final card. Yeah, it was just like theater bonus prize, bonus theater prize, theater bonus, theater prize bonus. Like, so dumb. Uh, okay, what are these? What can I do after the broadcast? I don't know, actually. I guess. That, I don't know why that's part of it. Um, the small clue that the killer left. That. And then... Get back to normal after destroying it. Uh... Switched on. Oh. There we go. Those are... That's stuck. Um... Small clue that the killer left. What are you spreading? Glue? And then uh, put it back to normal after destroying it. Oh, uh, no. What? Um, what? What's left of the surveillance camera unit? Um... Oh, that's it? Okay. Here's everything that happened that's in this it. case. Wow, that was really fast. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Mikan this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music venue. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music venue. So I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time. When in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music venue and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. I, I really want to hear the like the conclusion, like the explanation for what Mikan did and and like why and everything. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys, but. That was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music venue from outside. And, as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music venue and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Hyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper, or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music venue, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. I thought the drumstick thing was kind of stupid. 
They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. I guess, like, to... to... Uh, to lead you away from like the glue. However, they did yeah. this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko and me. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. And they made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Oh, the EKG. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? It is. <laughs> You're smiling <laughs> and laughing. Whoa, now she's laughing? <sighs> it's been such a long time. This feeling, I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing, like the sky is falling down upon you. This feeling of despair! She's so weird. M Mikon, you... What has happened to you? Whoa there! Before that, a moment of your time! Oh. I did so badly at the end. That wasn't my fault though. Okay, I got another B. It seems your arguments have reached a conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled voting time. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the dreadfully wrong one. Here we go. I honestly thought that as the nurse, she would be, she would have stayed for a while, like throughout the chapters. Well now. Now then, though it may be obvious at this point. Correct. You got it right once again. That's like three in a row. That's right. The true identity of the horrifying black and who killed two girls was Mikan Tsumiki. Damn it. You gotta be shitting me. Are you saying Mikan, the one who nursed us back to health, is the one who killed him? I won't forgive you. Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> hey! D don't just laugh, say something. This is going nowhere. <laughs> What's going on? Th this chick? Hey, hey. This is nothing like Pekko. She's actually gone mental. That's obvious. There's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Sumiki we knew. Huh? Hey. Based on my predictions, she might have caught it too. She probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for this case. What? Mikan too, you say? I... I know because I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me after all. My consciousness kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was <sighs> full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. That's kind of why I feel like it's a little bullshit. This, if it was, if it was the disease, because, like, that's. I feel like that's not really. That's like an external source, like affecting you, and like your if your mind is all scrambled not in your right state of mind when that happens like that's kind of a stupid way to get somebody to kill someone hold on did you say Mikan also had the despair disease Th then that means she was what huh ajime has something crossed your mind 
My body's heavy. No, not just heavy, it's somewhat soft and really hot. That's that's right. We kind of felt really hot at the time. Now that I think about it, that must have been a high fever. Just like what Ibuki and Akane had. It cannot be! Then, because of that disease, Mikan was... Perhaps... The symptoms that she surely felt must have been deserving of the name Despair Disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the despair disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> Jeez. Which means the Mikan standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person now that she's been infected by the despair disease. Isn't that right? She's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair? <laughs> okay, we're not listening I... to that. That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. I mean, killing someone for the sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope? Impossible. There's no way I can forgive that. There should be no way you can forgive that normally. Oh? For the sake of despair? <sighs> That's completely wrong. Huh? Wrong? Wrong. What's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. What? Huh? 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 Uh, who are you talking about? <laughs> if only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. I know. My beloved was the only one, that's right, the only one who never hated me. They forgave my existence. They forgave me and accepted me. Who? They gave me value. They loved me. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. This is my reciprocation. <laughs> I understand that I've done something unforgivable, but you know, but you know, transcend all that is truly. It's love. What love is all about. Hey. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> you don't understand? Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Damn. Is it because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone? <sighs> what a pity. I feel sorry for you. Damn. Well, even if I say this, I'm sure nobody here would understand, but love is a wonderful thing. <sighs> ah, this feeling of freedom where you no longer care about anything. <laughs> My beloved and I are the only ones within that thin veil, and I'm just looking out through it. <laughs> That's why, as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me. Ah, how it's like amazing. nothing matters. I could just die, that's how little it matters. Who cares about hope or despair? It's love, only love. Could it be? Magito, is this really the despair disease you were talking about? This is... It seems that I was wrong. Not only was she affected by despair. <sighs> you were not afraid. It's right to say that this is all thanks to that disease. Because, thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Is that why she was always cuddling up to Hajime? Remember? <laughs> Apparently, that's what my symptom was. <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease? What? And if this means she remembered something and ended up like this... Such despair. Are you saying you were like this from the start? Were you like this before you even came to this island? <laughs> Don't get so angry. Well, first of all, <gasps> the reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. So it's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? There is a, game, a grain of truth, maybe more than a grain of truth to that, right? Like, 
in a lot of like bullying cases or even just um the like, human relationships it's like yeah the way you treat people and the, pe the people are treated and it's all i don't know it's all like taken into account there's always an effect there's always consequences or a result of it <laughs> even so my current me was most strongly influenced by my beloved's existence and it was also my beloved who created the me that everyone can't forgive wait what but, but my beloved still forgives me and still accepts me that is the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Don't fuck with me! Like they said, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> God. Are you saying this is Miken? She's the real Miken? Miken, please answer me. Did you really remember? You ended up like this all because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that. There's no way the person you are right now is the real Miken. <laughs> You still doubt me? <laughs> to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice. <laughs> it's about the World Ender organization that you all were worrying about. You serious? You know? <laughs> Not know. I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along. Now that horrifying organization known as World Ender is also the organization known as the Future Foundation. Future Foundation? Future... <laughs> Oh, that's right, that symbol on the ancient ruins door. That's right, it was the Japanese word for future. Hey, just what is the Future Foundation? What are they planning? <sighs> As the name suggests, that organization is the world ender. The Future Foundation is trying to end our world. But it's simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. This is bad. Wha what the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know, it's a visual novel. <laughs> As part of their plan to end the world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. Hmm. Isn't that right, Monomi? Uh, huh? I I knew it. Monomi, Marokuma. They're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> Monomi and I aren't members. I am Marokuma! My existence is entirely my own. <laughs> Hey, don't laugh. Hey, Mikan, if you really do remember, then you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hidden among us. <laughs> of course I know that. Let's see. The future foundation lackey that's hiding among you all is... Oh? Oh, well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? Of course not! Oh hell no. <laughs> we'll find out eventually. So there's no need to be so impatient. Probably when that countdown ends. Countdown? Y you even know about that? Oh, I don't know anything. Huh? I have a feeling that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning in so much love. From the bottom of my heart, I just don't care about anyone or anything. That is... Let me can. Is this really you? I, I won't believe it. There's no way I can believe you were like this all along. Because if that's true, then who's the person we've been spending time with up until now? Hmm. The past. The, the past? That person. She didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. <laughs> <laughs> you guys considered that thing a friend. Oh? Uh, that doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but not my present self. Th that's... Well... Uh, that applies to you all as well. Memories of people. Memories of events. Whatever memory it is. Losing memories are... Do you understand? Like losing your personal identity. That's all. Yeah, that's always a trope, isn't it? Like when... Um, when you have, like, a character who's lost their memories, like, are they the same person as before? Or, like, once they regain their memories, will that change who they are, right? Memory is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories makes us shadows of the past. 
Don't you think? Hey, I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it always leads back to that story. That story about our stolen school lives. Hey, hey! So, it was true all along. Our memories were taken away. Damn it! If it wasn't true, we wouldn't be suffering this much. <sighs> oh, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh? Oh, Manukuma. Is it alright for you to start now? Yes, indeed! Punishment time? Damn it, why? Nikan, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For the ultimate nurse, Mikan Sumiki. So it's over. It's really. Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. Who is it, though? I can finally see them. I guess maybe it's just a character we, we don't know. Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Shit. I don't know how I feel about this. Isn't she supposed to be happy? Bye bye, ouchies. What just happened? Why is she riding a giant arm? Did, did she just Team Rocket blast off again? What? It's finished. Is it really finished? The killer who killed Ibuhi Miyoda and Hyoko Sayonji was Mika and Sumiki. And she's been executed. I didn't really get her execution at all. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was that Mikan from earlier? Was that her true form? Or is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? Damn it. it doesn't matter either way. She ended up like that just from remembering. And all along, Miken was never worth being a symbol of hope. But... Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, she lost herself to a simple disease. She was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So, let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's take all this despair and change it into hope. That is impossible. Uh, I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so... Like a house of cards collapsing in an instant. In the end, our friend, we thought we knew, ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice toward us. And now, there's no way we can just move on or try to have a clear-cut attitude about these feelings. It's clearly impossible. Damn it! It... Would have been so much easier if she was the traitor, too. Wrong! Too bad that's not the case. Mikan was not the traitor. Come on! The traitor is still alive. As proof, see how fine Manomi looks right now. <gasps> I, I'm not fine at all. Hmm? But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both pawns of the future foundation. So you guys are like two hearts beating as one, right? You fiend. Is that Chiaki? I just- I only think that because Chiaki and Monomi went to go stand watch at the first trial. I don't know. What difference does that make, Fiend? You did say that you're- Oh, what does that make you, Fiend? You did say that you're different than Monomi. Phew! Who 
cares about who I am? More important, I'm tired. The drama just kept going and going. I didn't even have time to eat my black bean right eye during the break. Hey! Your right eye is made out of black beans? Hey, hey! Wait, now's not the time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey, um... You know, isn't it sad that life has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after ups, but if life was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? <laughs> so, in order to help you guys feel better, I've prepared a special event. Special event? <laughs> Head over to the first island's beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Oh, Nekomaru? Old friend? Huh? Could it be... Nekomaru? Hey! It is, isn't it? Nekomaru was safe after all. Um, safe. How should I say this? Hmm. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that crazy bastard Nekomaru would come back to us in one piece. <laughs> awesome. We're starting to see the light of hope. Um, the light of hope? Um, I am happy Nekomaru is returning to us, but... But I... So just as I thought. Three of our friends just died. So I honestly cannot be happy. Hmm. M Miss Sonia. However... Uh, even so, I am still happy. If Nekomaru is safe, I am truly happy. Fine. If you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. Oh, huh? Gundam. Hey. Supreme Overlord of Who Gives a Shit. That line doesn't suit you at all. It does too, he's a sweetie. Silence. I shall crush you into dust. Um, Ibuki, Yoko. I can. Can you hear us? If you are unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to warmly welcome Nekomaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonia. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Let's all go greet Nekomaru. Make it grand, even for those who have died. <laughs> huh? What the heck? Do I still have the after effects of that disease? I don't get this at all. Akane. Alright! Alrighty then, let's go. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna pa I'm gonna stop it here. And we'll see Nekomara's return next time. Because that was a long trial and it was kinda frustrating and wow, Mikan was just mm. But I don't know, I don't I liked the Ah, uh, like the clues and the premise and such of it. I just didn't like the... I don't know, I didn't really like the investig- the trial overall for some reason. Maybe- or maybe it was just the end when I was- when I was sucking or like the- the fact that you could have three different answers with the closing argument. But, um, so I don't know, this one felt weird. I didn't like the despair disease thing that like- I don't know. Affecting her, but I guess, like, if that's, like, who she always was, then it would have been within the realm of possibility that she did it. But it just felt like the, um, they, she, they didn't really tell us why, like, she targeted Ibuki or maybe it's just because she was easiest. I don't know. It was, like, it felt like there were, like, a lot of, like, holes that didn't really get explained or like fully fleshed out so i liked i think i liked the uh like the like the clues and like figuring out what was what the best but overall this one didn't feel that great i feel like i, I did pretty well i feel like i figured out a lot of what was happening either as it was or before, like, as it was being discussed, or, like, even beforehand, because I, with Hyoko being killed beforehand, and then Ibuki, yeah, 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 but anyways, I'm gonna leave this one here, so thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for notifications when I put out new videos, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one, bye!